Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to episode two of this amazing and beautiful YouTube channel. First and foremost, I want to take the time to thank each and every single person out there who commented, who provided feedback, and who also shared the link to my very first YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Now, if you're coming to watch for the very first time, hi, welcome. My name is Mamo, and if you are coming back to watch the second episode, but you haven't yet subscribed, do the right thing and subscribe. Wow, WOW 2022 has finally come to an end. Now, I want to find out from you, if you could describe 2022 in one word, what would it be? Let me know in the comment section. I'll go first. I don't think I can actually describe it in one word, but two. First and foremost, it was a roller coaster. Oh! <laughs> There were so many highs, so many great moments. At the same time, there were also quite a number of lows and difficult times that I had to deal with. But through every single moment, the highs and the lows, the ups and the, and the downs, I saw God's goodness. So I would say that it was definitely a blessed year. And the best part about it is that this year, 2022, was filled with so many beautiful memories that I will keep in my heart for the rest of my life. And the highlight of the year, which was a trip to... Cape Town! Yay! <laughs> I kind of have a confession. Up until this point in my life, I'd never ever been to Cape Town, ever. I know it may be shocking to some people, the looks and the eyes that I get from people when I tell them that I'd never been to Cape Town before. Yeah, I get it, it can be surprising. But here's the thing, every single opportunity that presented itself to me to go to Cape Town, or every chance that I got to go to Cape Town, for some reason just didn't work out. It either got cancelled or just didn't go through and unfortunately these were things that were out of my control so i guess in this case you could say that fourth time's a child but before we get into that let's take a quick look at what happened since the last episode my team and i had our year-end lunch at this beautiful restaurant it was really nice because we got to know each other a little bit better and talk about various other things other than work it was a great bonding moment a couple of days later, I head down to Soho to get my nails done in preparation for my Cape Town trip. The name of my nail technician is Jane and she is absolutely good at what she does. So my friend invited me to go to Cape Town and the main reason for us going to Cape Town was to attend a wedding. So we thought, okay, we can attend the wedding, but also we could make a trip out of it. Two birds with one stone. So as you know, when you're preparing to go to a wedding, you get your outfit ready, your hair, your nails, everything else that you need to do, you get that ready. Now the day my dress arrived, Ryan called me and he was like, yeah, um, Mamo, we need to talk about the wedding, right? Oh wait, no, was it a phone call? It was either a voice note or a phone call, one of the two. But he told me that, yeah, about the wedding, we've been disinvited. Yo, I was so bitter. Yo, what do you mean we were disinvited? You're telling me a week before. Ah, <laughs> I, yeah, 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 yeah. I was so bitter at that moment. Like, there's no way this is happening. Like, what do you mean? But, but, but the bride and the groom had legitimate reasons. I don't think I can go into detail about what those reasons are, but in essence, due to unforeseen circumstances, both the bride and the groom had to cut down on the number of guests who were going to be attending their wedding. And uh, yep, we happened to be on the chopping block. But, but I got over it very quickly because, you know, I thought to myself, sure, we're not going to the wedding anymore, which is very disappointing, but we still have a trip to Cape Town. So, Let's make the most of it. Stick around to find out what we got up to. Side note, these guys always convince me to get my shoes cleaned. Cape Town, here we come. Doo -doo. Welcome to Cape Town International Airport. I couldn't resist, I had to do it. <laughs> okay, let's continue. First off, we start off with a sparkling wine cruise with the most stunning views that Cape Town has to offer. Oh, that's Ryan, by the way. A 
Oh, and of course, spoiling ourselves with a yummy treat. I'm heading back home after a long but stunning day. Oh, but wait, look at this. It's day two and today we're getting ready to go paddling with dolphins. This is our instructor Brad who's helping me get comfortable and ready for our adventure. As crazy as Cape Town weather is, today it was at its best. Perfect for paddling. <laughs> ready or not, here we go. Please don't judge my paddling, I'm still a rookie. Guess what? The first thing that we got to see when we went out into the ocean was a seal having an octopus for breakfast. Literally, the whole thing happened right in front of us. And according to Brad, who's been doing this for many, many years, this was a very, very rare thing to see. So I guess you could say it was definitely our lucky day. We managed to catch about 65 to maybe 70% of it on camera. However, when putting this video together, I decided to not add that part in this video because I thought there may be some sensitive viewers out there and so I thought let's just accommodate them and not add that in but the good thing about it is that we still got to see some dolphins check it out though the dolphins were a little bit shy they popped up every now and then so it was good to see them later we stopped by I love the door for something to eat and head to the beach the water was ice cold so dipping my feet was the best that i could do and of course we head to the aquarium this octopus was not about me hey <laughs> yo this fish is scary and it's huge Exhausted, sunburned, but so happy. Oh, before I forget, let me show you the Airbnb that I booked. Listen, this is the most stunning place that I've ever seen. It's day three and we're heading to Cabo Beach Club. Oh, quick pause. Have you seen disco balls in a bathroom? That's Cabo Beach Club for you. Stunning. Cabo Beach Club gives me Miami vibes. It's gorgeous, stunning, sexy. The food and drinks are good. This is the perfect place to visit when you're on vacation in Cape Town. 10 out of 10 for me. Later, we head to the one and only Table Mountain. It was crazy cold at the bottom and now we're at the top and it's hot. And I have this vegan leather jacket on. Because Ryan is a chef, he knows all of the good places to eat and honest chocolate was a must. We took a walk around town and guess where we ended up? Charlie's Bakery. Okay, well, the name doesn't show properly here, but they were on TV a couple of years ago and today we got to taste their amazing products. It's safe to say I was in heaven. Oh, hi. We walked around for a little bit and Ryan then ordered the Great Gatsby. Listen, this thing could feed about four people. I could tell that things were going to get messy, so rather cover up than mess on my shirt. And no, serviettes were not going to do the job. Our last stop for the day is at Steinberg for some wine tasting. This place, stunning.
This place was more than just aesthetically pleasing. It was calming, relaxing, and had friendly staff. 10 out of 10 for me. Oh man, and that's it for episode two. Thank you so much for watching. May you have a beautiful and blessed transition into 2023. I am so grateful to God for each and every single one of you. I'm really praying to God that he will bless you, keep you, just continue to lead you and guide you into this next and beautiful chapter. Till next year.